my channel. Today I'm sharing with you some outgoing happy mail. This is part of a secret cupid swap that I'm doing with some friends and we did this last year and it was a lot of fun. So I'm going to share with you what I got my um, secret cupid person and yeah, I'll go through it all. There are, I believe there's a process video of everything getting packaged. So let me just quickly show you through it. Um, and I do want to say this box was not decorated by me. This box was decorated by uh, Tony from Polka Dot Mailbox. So I'm going to link her down below. She sent me this gorgeous box with gorgeous mail and I'm reusing it because it's so pretty. So that is all done by her. She has a YouTube channel that you should go check out. So this is a little envelope flip book that I'm sending her. I do have a process video of this, so I'll link that down below so you can see the whole thing. But for now, I'll leave you in suspense and just put it to the side. And then I tied it up with some string and added some goodies here for her. So inside it just has a letter and some special goodies. But yeah, there's a process video for this entire thing that I'll link down below. Okay, so. Inside, so what basically the super, the super secret Cupid thing is, is there is something to open for 14 days um, leading up to uh, Valentine's Day. So I do have a process video of making all these packages, but, um, but I will just show you, if you don't wanna watch the process, I'll just kind of show you what I made. So these aren't in any order, but and but she'll be uh, opening it in the order. So this is the first one. It's in a little cute brown paper bag with some some gold um, Heidi Swap color shine. I just used my stash for this, and because um, I have a lot, I love Valentine's collections. So it's just random bits and pieces from different things that I've gotten from pen pals, but also from the crepe paper collection. So there's day thirteen. Here is day one in a little glass scene bag. Hopefully she won't peek inside. <laughs> day uh, four, this is pretty. So I got to use up lots of scraps, which is great. These bags here are from Ikea, actually. This is day two. And these were from Target. Got like, here, I'll show you, I have it right here. It was this whole jar from last year from Ikea of all this Valentine stuff. So you might see that throughout. Oh wait, no, this is the sticker. So I think I got the stickers from a pen pal and I bought the chipboard, something like that. So they're from like the same line from Target. So kind of cool. And I just used some scrap paper and doilies and stickers and I think it turned out all right. This one was in a glass seam bag and it was kind of see-through, so I put this little pocket over top. It wasn't anything special. I just kind of folded it over and no measuring required, just a little trimming on the side, stapled it together, and that was it. So I did a little cluster here with, of course, some gold Heidi Swap color shine, and that's day 11. Day three is in this cute little envelope and um, I used some chipboard and I got to use up some scrap paper, a doily, and of course, gold Heidi Swap color shine. Day eight is pretty simple in this cute black and white polka dot bag again. I'm not sure where I got this bag from, but uh, it says, hey, and it's day eight. And of course, again, some gold Heidi Swap color shine. Day seven, um, I had all of these, a lot of these stickers, so I decided to just put them up and down, running up and down this um, bag, and hopefully she won't peek too much because you can see it a little bit. And of course, some Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine. I'll probably say that for almost everyone. And of course, not this one. This one I used some black tattered angels. Let's see if I have it here. Yeah, I have it right here. This is what it looks like. I got it from Tuesday morning a really long time ago. Um, and it doesn't have a name or anything. So, but whatever, it works. So here is day nine. It's in this little envelope. This is day six. Again, it's with a glassine bag. So I just put this little pocket protector thing over top. And 
decorated it with a doily and lots of gold and splashes of black, which is fun. Here is day one. Again, I just, um, this is, these are um, scraps from some bags I made last year that I cut out with my silhouette. And then there's just a little gift for her in there in that little Ziploc kind of bag. And it was a, this is a chipboard, um, a chipboard sticker tag. So I just put that on and put string around and she can reuse the string, reuse the paper, whatever, it doesn't matter. And uh, some gold Heidi Swap Color Shine splatters. So I think that looks cute. Day 14, the last day. Um, you can probably tell, maybe you can tell what it is. It's a bath bomb. <laughs> um, and I put this tag on here and just decorated it up a little bit. Went with silver this time. And then here's another bag, number five, with a doily and some embellishments. It's a cute bag. I think that was from Target. And then last is day 10, which is actually an art print. And um, I put it in this. I just literally just taped paper together to make this and then stapled it at the bottom. Made a little cluster here. And that is day 10. So that is everything it's pretty easy to put back together um she can kind of i don't know if she wants to keep everything in this box as she's opening it each day or if she wants to um, take it all out and display it somewhere i've seen people do that lots of different options for how she wants to or where she wants to keep everything as she's opening it through the month so lots of fun goodies in here for her and I hope she enjoys everything. I'll put this back on top, put it all back together. And like I said, I'll leave the link down below if you want to see the inside of this envelope flip book. It's a Maggie Holmes one. So that was in January. And um, yeah, so that is everything. And I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope my, the recipient will love it as well. All right guys, have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.